live from the studios of New York Knit Productions. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for New York Knit. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the program. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing good? Yeah, I'm just chilling out on this beautiful Sunday afternoon here from the penthouse in Swanee, Georgia. Hope everyone's doing well. Well, I just wanted to uh, come talk to you all again today. I mean, you know, I try to do this once a week so I can... Uh, Give you a message from New York, Nick. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I, I take great pride in communication with you folks. And, 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 and I really enjoy it. And, and I hope you do, too. But today, I, I want to talk about how things are becoming more diversified. And I don't have a problem with it, all right? There's been a lot of stuff on social media with, you know, racism and gayism and transvis transism, tran trannyism, whatever however you say it. Just look, man, they're all different people. And and and, and I'm I'm becoming to learn uh, that, you know, we, we need to be diversified in this country because everybody comes to this country to be free. Now, there's, there's certain ways to enter. My glasses are a little crooked there. I don't like to look like a, a weirdo. Um, there's ways to come into this country and, and be legal. And there's a lot of craziness going on at the border right now. A lot of people coming into the country. We don't know who they are. Uh, and there's a lot of question about it. People have concerns about it. Our government doesn't seem too concerned about it, and that's what's concerning, is our government doesn't care. Now, they've, they've currently uh, apprehended, you know, terrorists that are on the terror watch list, people from other countries, hundreds of countries are coming into this country, and we have no way to track these folks. So it's very concerning that people are coming to the country and we don't even know who they are. I, you know, and, and that goes without saying, you know, and then, you know, on, a, on another note, you know, the, the stuff going on with the, the Marine in, in New York and things are just getting out of control, man. I mean, between you and I, things are just like completely getting out of control. But there's some good things. There is some good things coming out of, of, of life and that we're all alive and and we all have options okay if you don't like something just don't deal with it you know don't stress yourself out over something you have no control over sometimes it's just the way it is and 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 i'm i'm learning to calm down a little bit uh be less um uh, I don't know, agitated with what, what, what's going on around us because there's nothing I can do about it. There is nothing uh, New York Nick is going to do or say to change anything that's going on. And, and a lot of people are in an uproar about what's happening in the country. So there's only one way to change that, people, and that's to go vote. All right, that's, it's, just, it's just short and simple. Sweet, short, and simple. If you don't like what's going on in the government, go vote. Don't don't be that guy or that gal that says, you know what, I'm not going to vote this year because I don't like anybody. It's your fault then. It, it's your fault that the things the way they are is because of the way they are because you don't vote. All right. You know what I mean? So don't don't give me your opinion. Don't don't be upset. Don't be mad because if you don't get out there and vote, whether whether it's for the Democrats or the Republicans, it doesn't matter. You have to go out there and you have to voice your opinion. And the only way we can do that here in America, unless we're a higher echelon person and we can go on TV and, and speak to millions of people is to do what I'm doing right now. This is this is my vent right here right now. This is what I do to vent. 
you know, because uh, if I don't, I would really probably be upset over stuff I don't have control over. So I'm, I'm giving you a piece of advice. Don't let it get to you, man. Things are going to work out. It'll all be okay. And uh, I do feel got, uh, bad for, for, for Penny in there in, in New York there, you know, trying to trying to be a hero. And he's sitting in jail right now. And I don't know if he's in jail right now. I think he got bailed out. But still, he has to go through all this, this uh, you know, politics. and you know, I mean, it's just crazy, man. I, I just... I don't know what else to say about that situation to where, you know, look, you know, I, I don't know. People want to have him charged with murder. Some people said he should not be charged, you know, and it's just, you know, let the people decide. At the end of the day, that's what it's going to be. Let the people decide. So I'm going to keep this short and brief tonight. Um, I, I just wanted to kind of jump on here tonight to tell you I went to a concert the other night, uh, you know, Godsmack. Man, I love those guys. I've been listening to those guys since the early 80s. Great hard rock, uh, metal, however you want to describe Godsmack. I always love uh, Sully Erna. Great guy, um, great performer. Uh, always had some great music, great lyrics. Followed him, love him, seen him several times in concert. But this last concert that I went to this past weekend really touched touched me a little bit because you know it's 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 something that's going on in this country right now that um, we need to wake up to um, because I think we're still sleeping at the wheel with this stuff and 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 and, and it's something that really really needs attention. Um, the removal of guns is not going to help. Um, what we what we need to do is we need to help the people that have problems, that have problems, mental health problems, whether it's depression, whether it's just genetic, whatever it is, you know, you lost an arm, you lost a limb, whatever, something that gets you down, that's causing you mental health issues, you need help. You need to talk to somebody if it's, if it's causing problems in your life. Going out and killing people, um, killing yourself. It, it just makes me nauseous just talking about how people just come to the edge to to want to hurt other people, to want to hurt themselves. It just, it just, it's just sad. It's very sad, man, that people come to that point to where they want to do things that are just, I don't even know how to describe it. You know, walk into a school and just start killing children or walk into a church, start killing parishioners and, or just hanging yourself or killing yourself or offing yourself. It's just hard to even talk about. But guess what? Sully from Godsmack He's taking a stand, and he just started a foundation a short time ago called the Scars Foundation. Look, we're all scarred, okay? We all handle it in different ways, but committing suicide, whether it's by cop or by yourself, you know, these, these people go out and they take the lives of others and they want to be killed, but they want to take people with them. They have some real mental health issues to want to do that to others themselves. Sully, come up with this foundation, and I, I'm proud to promote it. I'm, I'm proud to ask you for donations. I'm proud of Sully, one of my favorite rock and roll artists of all time. He's trying to help you. I want you to listen to something real quick, okay? I'm going to flip the screen here, and uh, Sully's got a message for you. Here it is. Cue it up. I'm, I'm Sully Erna from Godsmack. 
And in the last few years alone, the rise of mental illness, addiction, bullying, and suicide has taken a staggering amount of lives from us, including a dear friend of mine who recently just took his own life after losing his battle with severe depression. These illnesses, these imperfections that make us all feel insecure or unworthy are what we call scars. And whether they're emotional or physical scars, we want to encourage you to look at them as nothing more than just a reminder of what you survived. They're your battle wounds from life. So rather than stuff them down and continue to suffer in silence, you should show your scars loudly and proudly. Let them empower you, tell your stories, encourage others and inspire them to tell their stories. That's how we're going to make a difference. And that's why I decided to create the Scars Foundation. It's a nonprofit organization that has partnered with multiple companies that are experts in all these categories, not just one. And with your help, the Scars Foundation will raise money on a global level to help these experts battle these illnesses. But more importantly, you will become part of our voice that will empower people everywhere through our messages and our events. It's time we stop sitting around and we start saving the lives of our friends, our families, these amazingly unique artists that have left us way too soon. For more information, go to godsmack.com forward slash Scars Foundation and join us on this epic journey in saving lives. We're all imperfect, trust me. That's what makes us perfect. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A message from Sully Arna. Here on New York Nick Live, listen, I, I, I really, really, really want you all to jump on the Godsmack website, okay? It's, um, look, something is better than nothing, okay? Something is better than nothing, and, and I'm going to say this again. Let's, let's, go, let's go to the website. So this is the website right here. It's, uh, you go to uh, Godsmack, G-O-D-S-M-A-C-K.com. And you go up to, um, you know, Foundation, Scars Foundation. And you click on it, and there it is. It's, it's all right here for you. It's, um, you can donate now, $5, $10, $15, $20. There's the video that we just watched. And it's, it's a partnership with the music business. And, uh, you know, I'm real proud of this guy. You know, I've, like I said, I've been a big fan for, for, for many, many years. And it's just wonderful that Sully is doing this. And, and I wish, I wish our government was able to do something more than what they're doing now instead of blaming, you know, weapons and guns and drugs and stuff like that. I, I, I just, you know, People need to be able to vent. People need to be able to talk, talk it out. What can I do to help you? All you have to do is, is make a call. And there's foundations like this, like the Scars Foundation. I mean, you can dig deep, dig deep with this. Go, go, go deep. I mean, here's your donations gives you an explanation these are people that are currently yeah let me enhance this a little bit for you look at that people are constantly giving to this foundation if you can't read that i will read it for you this Gars foundation has been established by sully erner of the rock band godsmack to help raise awareness of mental health issues that are so many faced with today, with the rise of suicides, bullying, addiction, abuse, and so many other challenges, the Scars Foundation is dedicated to help provide resources, tools, educate, empower people on the global level that struggle with these burdens. There it is. It's all right there, what he just said, okay? All right, look, you got all kinds of categories down here that you can, you can you know, look, so search for causes, projects. You want to give the suicide, uh, just straight up mental health. I mean, here it is. It's, it's, it's wonderful that he's doing this. And I urge everyone to take a minute 
and go to the godsmack.com website and go to Scars Foundation and get more information. If you know somebody that needs help, please give them the help they need. My name is New York Nick, and uh, I told you it was going to be a short one, but I want you to go to godsmack.com and check out Sully's Foundation, the Scars Foundation. Y'all have a great evening. I appreciate you listening. My name is New York Nick. New York, New York Nick. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>